some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Miami, Florida, with Joey's surreal camera, as he attempts to act like a member of the media, but when he's told he's not a member of the media, he gets all upset and tries to take it out on the cops. You know, like a spoiled, petulant little child. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching Joey make a complete fool out of himself once again. What, this, guy? this guy's a clown. He said he was twerking for my girlfriend. You're twerking for my boy's girl? <laughs> nice. She loves it. She loves it, she said. Oh, yeah, Joey, that lady in the green shirt, that's the state of town. Where? Which one is that? Remember, this is the media area. Yeah, I know. I can't media. walk through it here? I know. You said you're media. So we can't walk through there? I know. I'm, I'm blocking all the cameras. I, I said I'm going to walk through it. I'm not going to walk no. right Yeah, Joey, I dare you to walk right straight through that and get at least one more arrest under your belt before the end of the year? I mean, what's one more among the few dozen arrests that you've had throughout your lifetime? Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Don't touch me with that bullshit. Don't touch me, bro. What's your name and badge number? You can't touch me like that. Could you read? What's your name? No, I can't. Hey, Joey, there's no shame in admitting that you can't read, but there's. it's never too late to... Uh, they start uh, learning how to read. I mean, I'm sure your local adult school can help you out with that. I mean, you're 48 years old. There's still time to save you from illiteracy. Sorry. What's your name and badge number? Go ahead. What's his name and badge Yo, number? Yo, man, we can grab His name is Reyes. Said, Reyes, sure. thank you. Reyes, you're, you're a tyrant, Reyes. You can't be touching people like that. I know I look good and all that. We're going to go to internal affairs, you know it. Uh, uh, no, Joey, I'm sorry, dude, but uh, yeah, uh, you don't look that good. In fact, uh, your mama had to hang a pork chop around your neck just to get the dog to play with you. But even then, the dog was afraid to play with you because the dog uh, didn't want to catch whatever ugly disease that you had. So we can't go to that side? Around the this other side. The That's all you had to say. I was I just, just said that. No, no, but I'm saying you said I couldn't go over there. You could have told me I couldn't. Oh, I know that, but it hasn't started yet. What's your name and badge number? I want to file complaints. You can't touch people. What's really? your badge number? Why'd you touch me? Two, six, Do I look seven. Up? Don't touch me again, bro. Don't touch me again. Touch me again. I'm going to defend myself. Hey, Joey, ever hear the old saying, all bark and no bite? It refers to people who like to talk a lot and uh, really, really have no fight game. And I'm sure that's you because every time you get arrested, you start crying like a little whiny punk. It's that simple. An idiot. What's up, bro? Let's see who stares off first. Ah, uh, he loses. No, he didn't uh, exactly lose. He just understands the mind of a toddler. I mean, you got the you got to let the toddler win every once in a while, even in a staring contest. Otherwise, well, you might have a temper tantrum on your hands. But in that case, you just ignore them, walk around them, and just let them throw their temper tantrum in th until they wear themselves out. You lost, big boy. That's your name right there. You got a staring problem? You got a staring problem? You do? <laughs> Why you gotta be a snitch? What a snitch, dude. Hey, Joey, I'm sure you know all about snitching, considering that you've probably done it quite a few times to get reduced jail sentences, which is why you're still out in the free world at this point. Hey, why you got to be a snitch, dude? 
You just rat me out, right? Looks like it. You got them boots. Who wants to lick them? I caught you, buddy, texting your mistress. Look at them shiny boots. These are for the trolls. Hey, who shines your boots? I'm just asking a simple question. Oh, I'm sure you know a thing or two about boot licking, considering that, well, how you've managed to stay out of prison all these years, that you uh, ended up uh, taking the knee and uh, shining a few boots in your day just to stay out of prison. I mean, you could tell us. You shine your own boots? Or do, they lick, do the people lick them for you? I bet you you got some boot lickers. That's why they're so shiny. Oh, what's the steering problem, bro? Nah, I don't lick boots, bro. Nah, I throw them. I throw them into the trash. That's what I do with boots. Ah, which tells me that you haven't worked a day in your life if you throw good boots away, because well, a good pair of boots can help you walk through all the bullshit that you like to pile on. I mean, that's one good use for them. That way you don't have to clean your regular shoes. Just spray off your boots and you're good to go. But you wouldn't know anything about that now, would you, Joey? Because, well, you've always taken the easy path in life and uh, been a criminal scumbag and just lived off everybody else's work, haven't you? But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?